I often heard you use the word Sir Driver on your podcast, your websites, and the public speeches you did, and also here in this interview. Can you explain to us what the difference is between being just a survivor and being a Sir Driver? Well, thank you for asking that. I'm so proud of that word, Sir S U R hyphen Thriver, capital T H R I V E R. <laughs> I had the word trademarked in the United States because I want to share that word with survivors. Mm. We hear the word survivor so many times and thriver. I wanted to own that word for the me too, the, the um, folks who have been abused as children. I wanted them to have their own word that they could use to take back their power. Now, here's one thing I want them to know. You don't have to tell the world that you're a survivor, sir, thriver of child sexual abuse or rape unless you want to. But you must get help. You must talk it out. You must get help for what happened to you. And I tell survivors, we did not commit the crime. We should stop doing the time. Because I was stuck in shame for so many years. And I'm going to be launching a campaign that's called the No More Shame Campaign. And I want to share that word, Sir Thriver, and that they take back their power. We can't change what happened to us. But we can change how it was controlling us. You know, Dr. Maya Angelou had a saying. She said, I can be changed by what happened to me, but I refuse to be reduced by it. Yeah, I love that. Yes, it's powerful. So having that word with, with the survivors I have on my podcast, the ones I've interviewed, they love that word, Sir Thriver. Because it gives them power. It, it helps them take back their power. You know, I, can, I will never get justice in a court of law because my perpetrators are dead. The best justice that I can get is to be happy. I, I like to say happy is the best revenge. And living my life on purpose now is the best justice because I'm helping others see the endless positive possibilities of how they can live their life after trauma.